hello my youtube family thank you so much for clicking on this video it's such a privilege to have you click on this video thank you so much and if you are a returning subscriber of course you always know that i appreciate you so much thank you so much for coming back to watch this video and if this is your first time you see my face my name is ini and you are watching parenting with ini where i get to share everything shareable regarding parenting children and just my experience as a as a parent as well as give this platform to other amazing parents to be able to share their experiences as well so you're very much welcome please do me the honor by clicking on the subscribe button subscribe to this channel okay and remember to turn on the notification bell so so happy to welcome you to this platform thank you so so much i really really appreciate okay so in today's video we'll just dive straight in we'll be talking about what people don't tell us about postnatal clinics okay yeah um if you don't understand what i'm talking about i'm talking about now your clinical visits you know to your doctor after you have given birth to your baby there are some things that we we are never told you get to discover maybe probably when you are there or if you have a very good doctor they'll probably brief you on it even before you get to the point of um going for your postnatal clinics so let's talk about this thing and i'm just going to share with you at least three major points that you need to know as you prepare towards your postnatal um visit after delivery so are you ready to get to know these three points i want to talk about let's dive straight into this video <laughs> you've given birth it doesn't end there you still need to do one or two um visits to your doctor to your gyna um for you to be to for to be sure that you're very fully okay you've healed before now you can say that is enough now that is what i call postnatal clinic it's a visit to your doctor that you need to do even after you've given birth you know before you were going for your antenatal clinic before you gave birth now after you've given birth you still need to pay some visits to your doctor or to a doctor to get to check on you to get to know the progress of how far you have healed or if is there any complication or anything that is alarming for them to get to address it in good time before now you can say oh i'm fully healed i'm fully okay and i can go about my normal businesses okay so that is what i call postnatal clinical visit and so i want to just talk about three things that you need to really um pay attention to when you are now going for those clinics okay thing i would like to tell you which most likely we are not told and you get to go to discover um there when you have gone to the clinic is please do not go alone okay do not go alone obviously once you've given birth it is very rare for you to leave your baby your newborn baby um, behind and go for clinics so there is a very high possibility that you will have to go with your baby even to your doctor your gyna to, to get checked as in you in person so now my advice to you is do not go alone like just you and the baby no you need someone else to go with you you need another adult to go with you so if you if you're privileged to be able to have your partner available to go with you best if not you can still make the trip with someone who is available it could be your sibling it could be your friend it could be you know your doula it, it could be your mom it could be someone just make sure you go with someone why is it important for you to go with someone this is because when you are going to be checked by your doctor okay you need someone to help you in handling the baby you cannot just tell the baby to sit down obviously the baby can't sit at that point you need an adult to be with you the person will be able to help hold the baby as you are being checked by your doctor okay i did this mistake during my first uh when i, I gave birth to my first baby i went there and um unfortunately i had to go alone just me and the baby and so what happened was when i got there the doctor was like oh there's no one to help hold your baby so they had to actually request a nurse to come and help hold the baby as i was being checked and the nurse was kind enough to do the job you see you don't have to inconvenience a nurse you don't have to inconvenience someone else just go with someone who will help assist you 
help hold the baby as you are being checked. Okay. It's, it's easier if you go with someone to help hold your baby. Another thing I would like to let you know is that you will need to visit a gyna after you've given birth at least twice, you know. Yeah. So once you've given birth, you've been discharged, you've gone home. It's most likely that you'll be, you'll be told to see a doctor after two weeks. Yeah, that's mostly what is recommended after two weeks. Though it's not like it has to be after two weeks. Some could be earlier, you know, or even later. But most likely, it's recommended after two weeks, you need to be seen by a doctor. Okay? And then after that visit, you probably be told to come back for another visit after four weeks from after that after the visit you've gone through after four weeks so you need to see a doctor basically two weeks after delivery and the sixth week after delivery i don't know if it makes sense two weeks after delivery and the sixth week from when you have given birth so at more at least twice you need to have to see your doctor it could be more it could be but most likely, at least the two visits are very important, okay? Because it's believed that after six weeks, it's very possible that you could have healed, except you had a serious complications that can take a little bit longer time for you to heal. But most likely by six weeks, you could be good and the doctor need to be need to ascertain that you are okay and, and get to know whether you are fit to, you know, uh, resume intercourse with your partner. And then if you are, have a conversation around family planning just to protect you from um getting conceiving just immediately and you just have a newborn baby so those two visits are very important after you have given birth okay um another thing i would like to probably mention to you is that you need to understand that your baby also needs to be checked by a pediatrician two weeks after you have given birth. So when you are going for your first visit to your gyna, you need to consider that your baby also needs to also be checked by a pediatrician. Um, this, as in two weeks, at least most of the time they will tell you bring the baby back to a doctor two weeks after uh, from the day the baby was born. So the baby needs to see a pediatrician, you need to see your gyna. So it is very much easier if you can plan those two visits the same day so that you finish at once and you go back home. Instead of having to go the first time you go see the doctor and then another day you, the baby goes to see the doctor, it's too much also on you and the baby. Remember, you need to be healing, you need to be resting, you need to have enough time to just take care of yourself and as well as the baby as well. So those are the three things I really wanted to point out to you. The first one being um, you need to to know that you pay at least two visits to your gyna after giving birth. The second one is when you're going to see your, your when you're going to be checked by your gyna, when you're going for your postnatal clinics, remember to always have someone with you. They will help you a lot with the baby so that you can concentrate and focus on being checked and getting sure making sure that you are fine okay and then the third thing is remember that the baby also needs to be checked by a pediatrician two weeks after the baby has been has been born okay thank you so much for watching this video i really really appreciate thank you so much please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching it leave a comment in the comment section i would really love to read from you and also please do me the honor by clicking on the subscribe button turn on the notification bell and i'll be so happy to welcome you to this platform you can as well share my video it is very much allowed okay thank you so so much and so before we round up the video i would like to do a note a post notification um a notification shout out okay and um my notification shout out for today's uh, video goes to yeah so if you would like a notification shout out all you need to do is subscribe to my channel if you've not yet done so and turn on your notification bell also leave a beautiful comment in the comment section if you're the first to comment on my video i will definitely shout you out in my next video okay it is as simple as that thank you so much i'll see you in my next video until then stay positive always and may god continue to bless you